So we are making some chicken noodle soup today. I've got my chicken going in the Instant Pot. It's frozen. If you have one of these, it's great to cook chicken quickly from the freezer uh, to done in about half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, I put this in here, two chicken breasts frozen with about a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, a uh, cup of water, and then I added some other seasoning to it as well because I like really seasoned good chicken. So this is probably gonna be done about the same time my broth and vegetables are done, which I'm gonna do on the stove top because we wanna eat this fairly soon. There's probably a recipe where you could put everything in this um, and it would turn out great, but I'm just gonna cook the chicken in it and do it the old fashioned way on the stove because that's how I know how to do it. So I put this in here for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna let it naturally release the pressure. So you might hear this while I'm chopping up the carrots and celery, uh, cooking, bubbling, steaming in there until the pressure builds up. I'm going to start with some carrots. I'm only gonna do two chicken breasts. So I'm probably gonna do about five or six cups of broth. So I'm gonna use maybe, I don't know, three or four cups of carrots. That's the beauty of soup. You don't really need to measure. You just kind of throw it in a pot and soup is always better the next day always, always better because the flavors have a time to develop and as they sit together overnight, all the different flavors of the carrots and celery and onion will all come together and make just a beautiful soup. All right, so I'm using my brand new peeler that my husband found on clearance at Meyer, and he said, hey, we need another one of these. So he bought it because he's the one that goes to Meyer these days. Um, I also need to address the fact that yes, I'm wearing my Duck Duck Gray Duck shirt again, uh, because when you do laundry, like every other day, the shirts that are dirty get put on the top of the pile, and that's what I chose. It represents my people in Minnesota, because that's how you play them. Duck Duck Gray Duck, okay? So I have peeled this carrot. Move this stuff so you can see. And I am holding my knife like this. You can hold the blade right here. Some people do that. Most people just pinch it and then wrap their fingers underneath, okay? This gives you a nice, strong grip on your knife, okay? I'm going to make circles. Um, I call it coining. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. That's just what I call it. And I'm gonna use this part of the knife and this part of the knife should never leave the cutting board. If you're doing this, you're doing it wrong. Don't do that. You're not that good yet, unless you like Chef Ramsay or something. But I doubt Chef Ramsay's gonna watch Home Ec with Heidi. <laughs> All right, so we're going to slice down and push forward. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see this better. Down and forward. And you should just have this nice rocking motion, okay? And notice the tip of my knife never leaves the board. This is gonna take you a little bit of practice and you can go slowly. You don't have to go super fast with this because if you're new at it, we want you to be safe first, okay? So be safe with your knife. I am not new at this. I can go a little bit quicker, but I still want even circles for my soup because it just makes it look prettier if you try to make them all about the same size. Now, obviously with a carrot like this, that's not gonna happen because this is a scrawny little carrot, all right? So this is gonna go in my pot. I'm just gonna put them in my pot as I go. Speaking of that, I think I'm gonna get some broth started before I cut any more. So I'm gonna start with about five cups of water in my stock pot on the stove for soup. Okay, so I started with about six cups of water in my stock pot and I'm going to add to that some bouillon, chicken bouillon, which is a soup base. Um, I use this kind because it comes in a giant can and I use a ton of it. Uh, this is about a teaspoon per cup to make a good broth. So I used two tablespoons of this because I used six cups. There's three teaspoons and a tablespoon six cups of water. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. 
I'm also gonna add some vegetable soup base to my broth. So as I chop up my vegetables, I'm just gonna start throwing them all in the soup pot. And the beautiful thing about soup is, if you think you need more water, you just add more water. If it tastes a little bit bland, add some salt, add some bouillon, add some soup base. Um, you can always add more, you can't take more out. So start with tasting it, make sure you like the flavor and figure out what you need to add. I'll probably add some other herbs and spices along the way. But for now, I'm just gonna continue with my carrots and then I'll uh, come back when I'm ready for the celery. Celery is washed and typically you're gonna, you're gonna have celery that has like shoots coming off the end. Uh, somehow we bought celery without the shoots because that's probably all that was left, right? Right. Yeah, that's what was left. So we're gonna cut off the white parts and if you want, you can stack them all up nice. Gertie, you're being annoying. Okay, and cut off that white kind of root end. And if these ends are a little bit brown, you can maybe cut those off too and save all this for your vegetable broth, okay? Now what I like to do with celery, because especially in soup, I'm not a huge fan of the crunch of celery. So I split mine all in half. I'm just gonna go down the middle and if it's big enough, like this guy's pretty big, you can maybe even do that one twice, okay? But I'm gonna have about this many and I'm just gonna do the same thing your hand in a claw formation, your tip of your knife never leaving your board, chop down, push away, and this is the most satisfying thing to cut. If you have celery you can practice on, it's gonna just give you a fantastic crunch when you go through it. Okay, and I'm trying to make them all about the same size, and just like my carrots, they're going right into my, right into my pot of boiling water. Gertie. All right, and I want them all about that big, so I'm gonna to try to make these others about that same size. I don't know why, but for onions, I like to use a serrated knife. I just feel like it cuts better. All right, so we're gonna use that same technique where we cut off the stem, get all this brown papery stuff off. I'm gonna leave the root intact because it holds the whole thing together, and you're gonna be able to dice it a lot easier. All right, I cut down the sides in two places. And then you can just peel off the papery layer, maybe the second layer as well, depending on the shape that your onion's in, okay? And that all goes to my scrap pile. And believe it or not, this onion, the brown stuff, goes into my vegetable broth as well. Maybe that's my secret ingredient, I don't know. So then, have my onion, I'm gonna cut down almost to my root and then turn it sideways and give it a few more slices this way before I make my chops in this direction. And this just gives you a nice little tiny diced onion pieces, okay? Once you get to the root, just kind of cut around it, put that in your scrap pile and you have nice little bits. And if not, you know, just go over it again, separate them up. And if you wanted to get them in a pile, just do a few more chops here and there. Whew, that is a potent onion. No contacts today, so my eyes are burning. So here is my vegetable broth. I've got carrots, an onion, some celery in there. I have about six cups of broth. And, uh, you know, I have a decent amount of vegetables. I might end up adding a cup. I put vegetable broth and chicken bouillon in here. And it's kind of thick with stuff. So I might end up, yeah, adding more water. But for now, this is just gonna boil. Those vegetables are gonna cook down and those flavors are all gonna come together. Well, sometimes you don't have the ingredients that you thought you did. So uh, it's not gonna be a very noodly chicken noodle soup, but I'm gonna add in what I have. So this has been simmering for probably about uh, 25 minutes or so. I just tasted it and it was pretty salty. I didn't add any salt, I just added the bouillon and the uh, vegetable broth. So I'm going to uh, bring it back up. I had it simmering and I'm gonna, I turned it back on to high so that it would boil and it's, it's getting there because I did add two more cups of water so that it wouldn't be quite as salty. So I'm gonna add in my uh, 
five noodles <laughs> and uh, give that a stir. You don't want to put these in right away because they don't, egg noodles don't take very long to cook, maybe like five, six minutes, and you don't want them to turn to mush. If they cooked as long as the carrots, you'd just have a pile of uh, mush in there. All right, so my chicken has been in here. I put it on manual setting for 15 minutes. And then uh, it go, the timer goes off after 15 minutes in here. And this 29 is how many minutes it's been since the timer went off. So I am going to turn it over here to uh, release the steam or any steam that's left. And then open it on up. Okay. So in here I have my cooked chicken breasts and they're seasoned up. And all that liquid's gonna go right into my pot with my stew. There's a bunch of different ways to shred up chicken. Uh, you can take two forks and just do it like this and shred it up, make it into little strings, okay? Or you can just cut it, which I prefer because I'm faster at that, okay? And I want kind of smaller chunks, so I'm going to just chop my chicken and I mean it's going to kind of shred anyway as I'm as I'm cutting but it's hot so I'm using tongs so now in my chicken noodle soup I've got a bit of noodles and I have my chicken and of course my vegetables have been simmering for about 40 minutes at this point. They're probably fairly soft. You don't want them to simmer to mush, but we are pretty much ready for eating some soup. Oh, I did add some Italian seasoning as well, just for a little bit more flair. Uh, but this should be a good, delicious, hearty soup for a super dreary spring day here in Michigan. All right, hope this, uh, soothes your soul and you are well and happy wherever you are. Thanks for watching.